Monster of Orion, Battle at Antares. I'm Roger Noriega. Thanks for joining me. We're going to give this one another shot. Last time around it didn't work, but we're going to see if we're going to make this one happen. This is Alpha Niner calling Science Station Hermes. Alpha Niner, this is Science Station Hermes. Five by five. Roger Hermes. And I believe you do read me five by five. We're going to see if we can get this one to work. Didn't want to work last time. We're going to see if we can load the game. It doesn't want to load. There it is. Absolutely awesome. For some reason it's now uh, freezing on me. There used to be a few keys which I could press before. Ah, there we go. Whoop. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, let's exit. We had some problems, so we're going to load the game. Here we go. There it is. It wasn't recording last time around. So, yeah, we jumped quite a bit ahead. So, let's go ahead and get this game going. Uh, I've seen the future, and it does not look good, folks. So, we're going to make this part two, but we're going to do a reset. Or, no, this is part three now, but we're going to do a reset. Uh, we're going to choose the way I want to play. We're going to... Yes, we want to abandon it. We're going to do the same thing. I don't want average. I want advanced. So what does advanced mean? It allows you to choose between the previous levels of start... The various levels of starting technology. Pre-warp, average, and advanced. Advanced civilization starts you with a larger empire filling up your share of the galaxy, depending on size and number of players. It also starts you with several levels of technology advancement and a fleet which uses up all of your command points. You need this if you're going to play Impossible, because the other empires got so many race modifiers that you will not win at advanced. Uh, well, you know what? I, I put it to you. If you use human, your chances are, you know, 16% maybe. Or less. I don't know. But it's very difficult for me. But I am going to go ahead and create again my custom race. I'm going to choose humans as the modifier. Science plus one. Industry plus one. Spying minus. I'm choosing dictatorship. Low G worlds. Subterranean. Creative. That's what I'm taking. I thought creative used to be six. But again, it may have changed. There's a lot of others, Omniscient, Telepathic, Warlord, that's pretty good stuff. But anyway, that's what I'm going with. I'm going to be Czar Roger again. I chose purple last time, this time I'm going to be red. Give you a different view of the ships. So there we are. Oh my goodness, I'm already minus 20. But look, look, it's we're already somewhat advanced. I... I 20 on the food? Come on. So this, I have Saul is, is ultra rich. Aleph is abundant. Valkyr is regular. It's barren. And Saul is mineral abundant. But I'm going to have to put everyone to work food. Look at that. Because none of these are farming. Wow. Wow. That's just great. But I should get some people in here soon. That's, yeah, that's that's not good at all. My research is plus 30. My tax rate is going to be 20. Let's see where we start. Right here. Hollow Simulator. That's what I'm going for. Do I have any leaders? This guy, yeah. Oh, I might take him. He's, he's a traitor, plus 20. See, look at that. Don't those look like starships? Colony leaders. I've used Administrator Uro before. I may bring him aboard. Uh, but we'll see. Let's go back to colonies. By name. Okay, now they're in order. Oh my goodness. Alright. So, which is the lamest colony I have? I have three lame colonies, but they're not bad. 9 of 18, 7 of 15. 7 of 15, 9 of 18, 
6 of 12. That's Oh, that's a juicy one. Radiated. Okay, this guy, I'm going to destine him. He's going to be doing the spies. He's going to create my empire. But he can actually do a colony base. So he's going to have to support my empire by doing stuff like this. Spies and... Spies and freighter fleets. That's what he's going to do for me. This guy, I'm going to go straight for a research lab. Oh, wait, does he have a research lab? Yeah, I'm choosing it right after the spy. No, let me switch these two. Okay. I need to get them to re do research right away. Everyone research. Just screw it. Research. That should be easy peasy. And this one, I can't build anything. So, I'm probably going to go with... Uh, this reduced particle pollution processor. So that'll help reduce my pollution. This is the first time that my main planet is that. And I'm, I'm, my empire is going to start starving because. Oh, excuse me a moment. Let me cough. If I don't grow anyone in Saul, uh, I'm going to starve. Well, I'm probably going to have to move a guy over now. To move him over so he's here just in case I'm probably gonna have to put people to work in farming jeez that's a bummer yeah I hope the Empire grows fast but okay I did the leaders oh gotta save this one save game today is October 19th, 1 9, okay, 1 9, 2017. Save. What? Is that invalid? Let's do that again. Save. There it is, it saved it. There's Orion. Wow, that's the one. That's got an awesome planet, but let's see. Orion, look at that. It's a Gaia. Maximum 35 ultra rich. Wow. Let me see if it's alone. Let's check out the star system. Oh yeah. But these asteroid belts, um, there's a technology that comes up later on where you could where you can create artificial planets out of these asteroid belts. So it's conceivable that this star system could be one, two, three, four, four planets. That's good. Let's see. Rial has a dragon. Wow. These planets are abundant. They're good. Look, Valkyr is rich. That's in my star system. Rich. Inari. Those are in other star systems. In, in other controlled galaxies. Oom. Yeah, these are all the planets that are available. But at least I have a larger force. I, that's going to be my primary, Ryal. There's no way I can take Orion right now. But let's check out the races. Oh, here we go for info. Set this up. We're turn number one. So I get no reading right now. But to give you an idea, my net income is 10 billion credits. I have 69 billion credits in income. 71% of it goes to my buildings. 14% of freighters. My ships are taking really next to nothing. Oh. And in this game, I'm I'm up against the Sakura Cylons. Ugh, those guys are tough. The Klakons, the Alkari, and the Silicoids. I'm usually friends with these guys. And I did the info. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. Leaders, we've already done fleets. You saw. I have two starships, and I have a destroyer class. These are like cruisers and a destroyer. Uh, colonies, yeah, we've already done that. Okay, I saved the game. I'm at 20%. Oh, look, my research point. I mean, my s command summary. Five starting command points. No matter what, I get five. I get ten from my five battle stations, so two each. Five because I've discovered Tachyon communication, so I have a total of 20 command points. 
Oh, they're just they're battleships. So two points are deducted from my destroyer, eight or four each for my battleships for a total total for a total of ten command points used. And I have twenty, so there's no ship maintenance costs. Once I get over that, then it starts to cost me money. So Man, I have to cough again. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, let me take a sip of my Coke soda. Hopefully that wasn't too disgusting. I'm going to check out the star system right in here. I'm surprised there's nothing there. Uh, it's probably some animal or something. But I'm going to send one of my battleships there. And everything else is pretty much discovered right now. Oh, first turn. Let's see if we can set up some treaties. I'm going to go with this guy first. Nope. All hail the mighty emperor of the human people. Thanks, pal, but I can't talk to him. And don't go to audience over and over because they'll eventually shut you down for like five or ten turns. I'm pleased to see you are well, Emperor Czar Roger. Emperor Amenios sends his best wishes. Yeah? All right. I'm going to press it. Oh, he went for both. Because I have money right now. I've got 200 billion credits. So it's going to cost me 19 billion credits each per turn. But it reduces over time. I'm going to go to... Emperor... Kiki Tick is pleased to send the human... Uh, the humble clack on ambassador to meet with the great Emperor Czar Roger. Am I going to get lucky here too? Oh, no. Oh, didn't like my any of my requests. All right, but I'll show you the screens in a moment. I'm pleased to see that you're well. Emperor Ariel. Oh, he took it. Research treaty, and he took that one too. That's good. See, look, when you... When you go to report... They'll tell you, he's an aggressive technologist. So that means they expand and they're into technology big time. No active spies, no alliances, no wars. Report. Honorable. There, you can deal fairly with them, which is not bad. No spies, no, but this is turn one. Clackons. Xenophobic technologist. What does that tell you? Ariel? An erratic industrialist. Oh, Kim Jong-un. I'm going to take a look at him before. An honorable technologist. Okay, so well, they're honorable. That's a good thing. Greetings. Oh, I like these guys. And I... So, their disposition is... I can't, yeah. It's only peace treaty, declare war, surrender, or goodbye. Hopefully, I, won't. I I hate fighting these guys. They're they're cool. So anyway, you see, I'm minus 64, but watch. Let's go. Next turn. Now is the official greetings. Please do not surrender, dear Czar Roger. The Sakura military is anxious to meet you in battle. The odds makers are even giving you a 10% chance of surviving. Yeah, whatever, dude. These are the silence. Wow. I believe that both of our races will benefit from a policy of cooperation. Emperor Zar Roger, let us work towards peaceful coexistence. These are the Clackons. Your people are, are only fit as slaves to the noble Clackon Empire. Your destruction is, in is inevitable. Yeah, dude. I have enemy number one. This is Ariel. I see the human race is attempting expansion. Just don't look to expand into Alkari space or we will attack with force. These are Romulans. But they put me on notice. And these guys, I wish I could be friends with them. We have heard many things about the great human empire. We hope you will come to trust us as allies and friends. Yeah, too bad I can't be an ally or a friend. It's all right. See, I'm minus 50. I was in the 60s, so it it's okay. And I'm close to here, so let's do it again. Oh, 
Scots arrive at the Bensa system. It's a splinter colony. A colony once broke off from your race and formed a separate colony. The colony is small and will want to integrate into your society once again. Awesome, but it's a poor. Yeah, you poor bastards. The Sacrin and Clack and Umpires are now at war. So I picked up a colony fast. Not bad. It's to Hydroponic Farm, Marine, I made Factory. For now. That's what I'm going to do. And how am I on the food? I'm already minus one. Yeah, it's really minus nothing on this one. Because they just joined the Empire. So if I... Yeah, it's minus two. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to leave them there for now until I get some more money. So you see, we're already minus 33. And we're two turns in. So, me likey. So I'm going to bring this guy back. So once I get the technology, I'm going to go over here. Alright, I'm minus 19. I'm going to discover these right now. Look, I'm at plus 30 on the research. Yeah, I know. But I have a net 5 now, so... You see, I went for a lot of... I paid for that stuff in advance. And watch my research zoom up right now to 51. Wow. So Fakar Prime just did uh, that. So I'm going to have him do a pollution processor right now. Just so you can see what's going to happen. But the game allows you to automate some stuff. Look, a spaceport... A site for commercial transactions increasing the money generation of colony by 50%. I want to even out what I'm building. So some go to technology, some go to money, some go to other stuff. So in a little bit, I'm going to be able to buy this no matter what. So with money, I can get whatever I want. So all right. Look at the map. Always look at the map. There used to be a button here. Ah, it still works where I could zoom in. So, Altair is right here. Who are these guys? These are the Trelarans, so they're... Yeah. Who are the white ones? Those are the Cylons, I bet. Yep, Cylons. Green. Um, these are Clackons, I bet. Green. Sacras, yeah, I forgot. Ooh, gold deposits. Nice. Those, oh, uh, they're out of range, but I believe the yellow ones are the Clackons. So I'm going to keep it here for right now because it gives me a closer look. If I, I could zoom in just a tad more. Should be okay. So, I'm going to move up again see where I'm at. See, I can now buy a pollution processor, and this pollution processor, this is what it does. It uses advanced chemicals to process factory waste, only half of the actual production of the planet used to calculate pollution. So it allows me to be more efficient. I will always spend the money on Mother Earth. I know, I said I was going to wait for Mensa, right? But uh, Mother Earth always comes first. There we go. So this is a research. No, you shouldn't have two. Okay, he completed the research. I'm going to have him do an automated factory. And this is what an automated factory will do. Aid industry workers in their building of finished products. Generates five production and increases the production each worker generates by plus one. So it's something you want to get on every colony, of course. Pollution processor is now complete. You see, I will eventually be able to build another planet here. So I'm maxed out in Sol for right now. So I'm going to... I need more colonists. So I'm going to build a cloning center. This is what a cloning center will do. Allows doctors to replace failing or damaged organs, increasing the population growth by 100,000 each turn, as long as the current population is below the planetary maximum. Maximum. Maxim. Actually, I think it would have been uh, appropriate. 
on the soft corn, uh, soft porn magazine. It's apropos. Uh, how much money? Two hundred and nine. Yeah. I'm still in trouble. I need. Yeah, you know what? I I need money first and foremost. Well, did you guys move? Yeah, you did, didn't ya? you? Can zoom in even more, huh? Oh, I can right-click. Neat! Okay, we'll leave it there. Turn again. Remember I mentioned in the other one that early on you're really just going to do a lot of next turn, next turn, next turn. So I'm going to... I need 146 billion credits for this one. So I'm going to do it. Mensa... Yeah, I'm not going to send any colonists there. Aleph is growing... Um, I got the Cylons in this game, so I'm going to move this guy over here. So let's do it. Fakar has finished a spaceport. So I want him now to for defense, because he's all alone. I'm going to have him do a missile base. I'm not at war, but I want to be ready. Spaceport, thanks for playing. I'm going to do a robo miner plant. I have too many people devoted to that, so I want more production. I'm a builder. I like doing that. So, how many more for before I can buy you? 102 billion credits. Okay. We're getting close. Oh, minus one on the food. That means I added someone. And you see, now look what happens. I'm in bad shape. This is a priority. I need him now. So I'm short by 56. I'll probably be able to buy it this turn. Do I? Oh, I'm short by 5. I'm plus 2. Yep, I'm stuck. Okay, I finished automated factory. So I'm going to create a missile base there too. But now I can do this one. And I'm not watching the galaxy map. I have to watch it. So look, I'm now plus three. Ah, you see, look at that. This guy will move over here. And this guy will move over here. And this guy is on plus one. But I'm putting them to work. So I'm going to build this one cloning center now. I'm going to move out to, I think I'm going to move to this level, so I can see what's around me. Okay, I'm building 48 billion credits, oh, yeah, I gotta do this, turn. Okay, cloning center is complete. Alright, let's do a missile base, research lab, robo miner. And leaders. Can I bring anybody aboard? I only have 14 turns left. I gotta get him so I can 20% to trading so I can get a lot of money. How much before I can get him? 200 billion credits. I have 52. Okay, he's a few turns over. Oh, did you see? I got a breakthrough. Hollow simulator. This is gonna help me big time. So I'm gonna go here. Artificial consciousness because I gotta get to the next one. Alkari spy destroys a spaceport on 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 Aleph. The Alkaris, bastards. Yep, there's a spaceport, so I'm about to build it again. How many spies do I have? Probably none right now. Oh, I've got one. Okay, look at their. Okay. Whoops. Go back to races. Look at the bar. They're weary of me. They're amiable, calm. They're weary. And they're weary. Ugh. I want to make peace. Oh, listen up, human scum. Nope. I'm going to go one more. They're going to block me out anyway. Such an offer is not welcome. All right. Whatever, dude. 
Don't think I can really do at this point. Because, yeah. Another turn, watch the Empire. No one's go Oh, where's the ship going? Okay. You see, that's, uh, that's a transport. They're moving one million colonists. There's a battleship and five transports. What's over here? Another transport. Why are they moving over here? Alright, Fakar has a battle station. And I'm building a Robo Miner planet. And a missile base. Actually, I should do the Hollow Simulator right now. Because that's a valuable technology. Hollow Simulator here, too. I'll be able to use a lot of stuff now. Plus one doesn't do me anything. Come over here. Okay, you've got six to two. That's the ratio I like. Five to one. Four to four. <laughs> yeah. That's five to five. Ugh. But I'm at 99. Look at what's happened. 18 turns. Now look. Under tech, I'm barely holding with the Cylons. Everyone else is down at the bottom. Fleet. Buildings. Population. So Cylons and I, I've, I've got to, you know, do a lot when it comes to my research. Otherwise, the Cylons are just... Sorry, that may have been cut off due to my voice. But, uh... I like where this game is going. I have a much better chance in this one because I'm playing how I like to play. So, I'm going to make this one a th probably about a 30 minute episode or so and I'm getting near the end. But, let's take a look. What do the Cylons have? They have a, a destroyer. That's really my only threat. So, Altair, they're friends. Let's make sure they're going to remain friends. There it is. We will sign your non-aggression pact. You leave us alone, we will leave you alone. So I'm at peace with the blue gills. So that's good. So let's continue. Oh, I'm at peace, but they stole my iridium fuel cells. That's going to happen a lot early on. So I need some technology to be able to block them. But I need that guy right now. I need to get to 200. Oh, I'm plus two on food. Can I bring him over? Yes, I'm going to bring him over. Put him to farm. So you see how I'm able to balance it? So I need that guy. And watch what's going to happen to my trade. Where's my trade? Well, it doesn't really show my trade right here, but you're going to see my numbers really zoom. Okay, I'm at 227. Leaders, I'm going to have him go aboard this ship going to cost 200 billion credits per turn and 2 BCs per turn, but he's going to give me plus 20 on my trade. So watch that 41 billion credits is going to boom. Well, it's going to go up by 20%. Yeah. I don't like that Invasion Force sitting on my board. Okay, they're going to build a missile base. What am I doing here? Okay, I'm doing all right right there. Let's continue. Captain Jared. Helmsman 10, Navigator, Weaponry, and Diplomat. The Navigator here... Oh, I want to press that one. The Alkari and Burathi are now at war. Okay, you finished building a missile base. and This is on Saul. So, Hollow Simulator. You know, this is... Actually, this is a very rich. I need this one to be a huge producer. That's what's going to happen next for that guy. I'm going to move him over here. See, look. It gets to a point where... Yeah. The production's not very good. But I need one guy. I'm already at plus 13 on those. See how many do I have here? Six and two, five and one, four and four. 
I don't have five and I have six. Oh, no, 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 no. Aleph, I need you to build stuff for me. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to buy it. Who's doing my spies and stuff? Is it you? No, not you. Whoa, what happened? Okay. Looks like I got to the 30 minutes. I'm going to reset it, but I'm going to end this one. Why? Why aren't these in order? Okay, it's not a left. Fakar? See, I, I don't know why it's doing this to me. No, so I guess it's... Show the name of the colony. I'd like them to be in order by name. Not farmers. Oh, you see, I guess I don't have that option here. You could put them in like an alphabetical order. Mensa is... Oh, Mensa. So is Valkyrie the one that's doing... Yeah, this is the one that's doing that stuff for me. So I'm going to have them do all Hollow Simulator. I need more production. Uh, that's it for now. Yeah, 98. Let's continue. Next turn, I'm up at 120. Marine Barracks. No, I want to buy a Hollow Simulator. 10 turns left. How much will it cost me? 100 billion credits in about three turns. So I hit turn again. No one's invading me. What's going on here? Okay, yeah. They can't do anything to me. Hollow Simulator. I need just 12 billion credits. So remember, I'm still billing at the same time. So that drops. Oh, come on. Are short by 12? Is this guy doing anything? Yeah, he's here. Researcher will give me five extra points. But he will increase the population rate. You know, I'm going to bring a board now. And I'm going to have him come over to Saul. So he's going to increase the population. I'm going to move him from colony to colony so he can increase population. <sighs> okay, I spent the money. That was my fault. There it is. Boom. My baby. Six to five... Six to three, six to three, five. Okay, this is going to be what alters my empire now. Next turn. Look at my numbers now. A left finished a spaceport. Hollow simulator as well. And Saul. Look at that. I can now start putting people to work. this can come over here so I move two of them off so I have a little bit of breathing room now okay I like where I'm at I've got to get Saul up to speed but it's my only farming well so is Mensa so I could get someone who's good at farming you see minus one now I'm barely staying on, so I'm going to buy this. So I'm going to get rid of the negative rating. Here, colony base, and I'm going to be minus one again. Okay, Valkyrie is going to take the rich planet. I need to build stuff. Hydroponics, marine barracks, simulator, and that. That's the way I do it. Can I buy it? Yeah, now, you see, it's 20 turns on a rich planet. But look, I have Valkyr Prime. Oh, I lost a spy. Was mysteriously assassinated. Really? They're ruthless here. So I have no defense whatsoever. So Valkyr 1 is here. Let's see, this guy has 6. I'm going to move one guy over here. 
and excuse me while I cough. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. And I need someone else to start doing spies also. I usually have two planets. Svakar and Aleph. Valkyrie. Okay, Valkyrie too. Oh yeah, alright. So, Fakar and Aleph are going to be doing that for me. Spies and freighter fleets. See, I'm already minus one. See, look. It's... It can get frustrating. That's all right. Oh! Duh, look at that. How do you sort? So by name... I forgot about this. I can sort them by name. By population. Who's doing the food? Industry. Look at that. Fakar's my best one right now. Science. Production. And billion credits. So let's do, let's see. Under industry, am I doing Fakar with spices? Oh man, well, that's my biggest colony. That's why. Aleph, they're also doing the spies, aren't they? No. Okay, Aleph is okay. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Uh, as far as production and stuff goes. No one's moving towards me. Nope. Oh, someone's coming in. Clackons are still at war with the Sakras. Let's take a look at the race. Is this where I can see? No. I think it's over here under info. Oh, sorry. Under info. Friends, turn summary. Race statistics. History. I'm holding with the Cylons. But there's something where it shows. Oh, maybe that's a, a game one. Anyway, okay. That's alright. Next turn. The Sacra and Clock and Empires are now at peace. Well, yeah, they saw that massive fleet coming in, so they sued for peace. They probably paid him money or something. Oh, Valkyrie can give me two needed food points. I need them, and that'll at least cover them, because these guys are supplying the whole empire. But if they can at least bring me two points, that'll help me early on. Oh, yeah, baby. Now I'm at plus five. So I can pull another guy out of here back to production. Okay, good. So based on industry, Fakar, what are you building? I may have to pull you off. Aleph is a mineral. Okay. These two guys are regular. Okay, Saul is ultra rich. And Mensa is poor. This one's all... No, just Mensa is poor. Valkyrie's also mineral rich. So I gotta see who are gonna be my bang up stars. Okay. I'm 29 turns in. I think we're gonna do one more. Oh! Silence! The research treaty between our is great. Benefits to all of us. Thanks for honoring the agreement. That's a hidey ho, guys. That's always a good thing when another empire tells you something. Oh, bunch of pussies. I've been sent by the glorious Emperor Kitty Kick Kitty Kick, Kick, to deal with you today. I suggest you give us automated factories to remain in our favor. You know what? Fine, I don't want to go to war. They're threatening me, but guess what? Now I have to pay attention. I'm going to ignore them so they can't contact me anymore. Otherwise, they'll just declare war next time. So, you know what? I didn't see what that colony was over there. And they're within range. Bonehead. 
That's very bad on my part. That one's out of range. That one's also out of range. Not down here. Yeah, they're all out of range. Alright. Your name. Industry science. Leaders. He's doing his job. And he's helping me on the trade. So it's imperative I keep my trades up. See, look. Oh, this is where the numbers are. The numbers are higher. You see, trade, I'm getting 20% more on this value. I should be getting about 22 points or 22 billion credits, but instead I'm up to 26 because of the 20% value. Same thing with this one. I should be getting 23 billion credits, but I'm actually getting 27. So I'm going to make... No, you know what? This guy gave me a hidey ho. It's calm, unease, affable, tense. I lost one. Sakuras. So they're too far out of range. I need spies. Let's build it now. Okay, so I've got a spy on duty. This guy's going to build another one soon. So, okay. What about my production? Industry. Okay. Mensa is a low-grade planet. They're going to do automated factory and the hollow simulator and missile base. And they're going to start doing this stuff. What does Mensa look like? Yeah, another poor planet, but that's okay. I'm still relatively at peace. I'm going to take advantage of that and expand in the Empire. So i got to start getting bigger. Because he, these guys are going to come take that. But at least I have the fallback that I can eventually my technology level up. Where I can... Oh, I'm at 7%. So I'm close to discovering this stuff. That's good because I want Autolab. A left finished hollow simulator. That's good. So, I need you to build Robo Minor Planet. I'm at 120 for the technology. And now I'm at 15%. I was at 7. So I've got a 15% chance this next turn to discover it. Like I had 7% the last turn. That's what that means. What's this? Battleship and a Destroyer. All right, let's go a little bit more. I want to see what that planet is. So Mensa's putting people to work now. What happens if I move another guy and another guy? You see, that's what you get when you get a mineral poor planet. So just keep building up, dude. Fakar is going to stop the spy stuff. I need this to build things for me. So that's going to be the last spy. Aleph is going to... No. It's Mensa. And is it Valkyrie too? Yeah. These guys are going to do the spies and missile base... Uh, spies and freighter fleets. So Valkyrie 2 and Mensa. Maybe Valkyrie 1 as well. These three planets are going to be my spy and freighter stuff. Oh, look who I found. Captain Grack, the Barathi Commando. He joins me out of gratitude because we found him on this empty planet, Etna. Alright, head back. Ooh, I'm plus three on the food now. Can I take one? No, because each point is... Each colonist is generating four. That's my dilemma. So I can bring this guy and put him to work there. But on these planets that are poor, their food is cut in half, 
or a quarter poor, very poor, whatever. Uh, well, look. Let's go to Mensa. There it is. See this? Mensa 2. Medium Desert Mineral Poor. Mineral G. A normal G planet. Base food per year is 1. Base industry per year is 2. Base research per is 3. So the morale is plus 0. It's a splinter colony. The research is always going to be the highest because it's not affected by a mineral bowl a mineral poor planet so you can get a mineral poor planet and put a bunch of scientists there oh wait you've got a lot now a left you're pretty high I like it you're gonna start doing stuff for me yep robo minor planet okay a left you guys are gonna go here and so are you I'm going to retool them with better weapons soon. So, make the map a little bit wider out. 406 and 72. Wow, that's a lot of money. So, humans are going to do a research lab, Robo Miner Planet, and then they're going to do a colony ship. like it and whenever they're less than 150 it's a bargain as far as I'm concerned that's too much I'll wait one more for that one 52 it's it's only two turns hollow simulator oh it's 90 I'll take it oh another Heidi Ho thanks dude silence are in love with me I'm good with that. I like it. I like me some Cylon love. Okay, remember it was at 285 knots at 140. With three turns, that's not bad. It's, uh... How many do you have? You've got seven, five. Okay, these guys are okay right now. See, I'm watching industry. So these are going to be my two monster guys. Because Earth is... Pff, there's nothing there. Uh-oh. Sakura's again. Back. The pleasure's all mine. Yeah, whatever, dude. Blow me. All right. Robo Miner Planet. Let's get some more money. It's good. This planet's going to be an industry monster. Because it's very rich. So we'll do this and this. And when I check my colonies, 10 of 15, 7 of 12, see 16 of 20. When it starts getting to like 18 or 19, I might consider moving the other guy somewhere else. Same thing with this one because it's only it, it, the rate of production test two babies slows down as it nears you know filling up. Okay, Robo Miner Planet. I always spend the money for Earth. Always. Okay. I got these things. There it is. The Auto Lab is what I want. And that's where I have to get because it's like 40 extra points just for having that research points. And that way I can play with the Cylons or I can keep up with them. This hollow simulator is going to help me on this planet. See, I should look for planets where I can farm. Okay, a left. Where are you at? Okay, I'm going to start refitting my ships. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm not going to set them. Go to design screen. See, look, this is what this thing has. Anti-missile rockets, gyro stabilizers. Nah, 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 nah. Put a battle scanner on here for reinforced hull and heavy armor. Hey, I bought this. I wanted to survive. It's going to take on a space dragon. So, I'm going to get rid of 
of that. Yeah, I, I don't. Look, I just want heavy mount. No armor piercing forward. That's it. Get rid of this guy down here. And get rid of it. It's fun to watch the gyro destabilizer spin the enemy. But, no. I want heavy weapons. Mass drivers and mass driver. Just regular. And a bomb. That's it. Okay, so this messenger is going to be refit. And I'll start refitting the other ones. See, my colony, sh it's already underway. Down to 17 turns. I should be able to refit the other ships in time and then go to Rial and take this one. Wow, ultra rich gem deposits. Yeah, I'll probably lose my destroyer, but that's okay. So that's where I'm, that's my priority. Oh, and plus two on food. This guy's still plus one, so I can move him out. All right. Four turns to refit. All right. Let's do this. Always watch the graph so no one's invading you. Fifteen turns. Should I? No, I need it at 150 or less. That's where I figured it out, where it's really beneficial to me. Oh, that's pretty close. But it's six turns. I'll take it. How much for the refit? Yeah. So that one's going to be done. And now I have a brand new ship, and I can go straight to there and refit the next one. Refit, who? Yeah, that's the old one right there. Go to design screen. Clear it all. Battle pods gives me, or it increases. F the space is 250. Battle pods, 50% takes you to 335. Battle scanner increases my chance to hit. Heavy armor, reinforced hull, that's it. Okay, on this one, I'm going to take pulse and missiles, one. I get five salvos of that and mass driver it's the best laser weapon I have in my inventory and mass driver low end okay this is gonna take five turns so let's see where I'm at under info look at that I'm holding with the Cylons in overall power. I might be able to start threatening people and making them pay ransom money, but I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. What does Hollow Simulator do? Eh. It still doesn't do very much. So I'm putting them for production. 189. Missile base 2. Okay. Doing good. Doing good. Minus 1. So the Empire's having babies. That's a good thing, I guess. Alright. Let's secure Mensa. No, 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 not yet. Refit ship. 84 points for 2 turns. I'll take it. Let's do this. Ooh, colony base in the Fakar system. Or Faker. No, Fakar. It's ultra poor! Fine. Hydroponophars, marine base. This. This. That's that's what I that's what I do. So I'm gonna buy a hydroponic farm so I get two food points. One to cancel them out, one extra. So the messenger's done on this guy. I'm going to refit the destroyer. Same thing, battle pods, battle scanner, reinforced hull, heavy armor. So I'm minus 39, get rid of these bombs. Get rid of these. Yeah, I, I've, yeah, I got to reconfigure. Just forward, no armor piercing, 
but heavy mount, yes. And then I want mass driver, regular. I can get two of those. All right, the destroyer is going to be a beam weapon ship. Okay, refit the Hellcat. Colony base, that's good. That one's done. Car Prime. Let's do pollution processing. And we're going to now design another destroyer. So I'm going to stick with what I had on the other one. Look, if I buy a ship, I want it to last. That's why I arm it with everything. Heavy mount, weapon, and two mass drivers. Alright, we're going to keep Hellcat design. That's going to be our design right now. So you're going to start building one. It's going to take six turns. Not too bad. So Fakara Prime is going to start building stuff. A minus one on food. Well, guess what? It's coming from there. But look, now I got four guys here. Oh, um, the destroyer is going to take one, and the colony ship is going to take eight turns. So I'm on course. I left Prime refitted a ship, the Hellcat. Okay, Saul is going to build a supercomputer to give me more research points. Um, this guy finished. I want a supercomputer here. Okay, I think I got lost. Hold on. Aleph did the... Who's building the ship? Is it Fakar? Oh, Fakar is building the ship. Okay. Aleph take you five turns. We're going to start building cruisers. Clear. Battle pods. Battle scanner. Reinforced hull. And heavy armor. Um, one missile battery. Takes up 20 points. Heavy mount mass driver because it's a cruiser. And regular mass driver. Let's see what I can balance out. 16 points. Another one. I can probably put a bomb. Yep. Alright. I don't like the interceptor. The intender. The intender. Okay. It's going to take you 16 turns. And the other one takes you 5. And on that one it was 6. It, it just it is. It's going to take 16 turns. So... Aleph and Fakar are now my are now where I'm building it and I want everyone to rendezvous at Earth. So there's Aleph going to Saul. Fakar is going to go here. So automatically my ships are all going to go there. These guys are ready for war but I need the colony ship. How many more? 355. Let's keep building. Oh, I'm plus one. I'm back. Okay. I need that colony. A minus one again? Oh, I added someone. So the Empire's growing. How many more? 200 billion credits. Minus one? Our scientists have learned much from your people, Zara Roger. Thank you for the research tree. That's a hidey hole. That's, that's a tap on the back. Um, the Empire is now really starting to accelerate its growth. See, Saul, I still need that one to grow, so I'm going to keep Uro there for a while. The car is one of seven. He's M15. A left is 13 of 18. We'll see what we're sending out. I might fire him. We'll see. How much? 42 billion credits. So one more turn and I can get it. Sol 3 finished supercomputer. Fighter garrison for defense. Ooh, it only cost you four turns for a Hellcat? I'm gonna do it. And I to to remember which planets build what, 
you'll notice that when I build a ship, that's the last thing I do. I can choose a whole bunch of things to create, but so I can keep track of the game, it's always the last ship. Well, not like the TV show, but I mean, I always finish with a ship and then I'll return to it. So I have three colonies. Saul is doing a Hellcat. This one's doing a Hellcat. This one's doing an Intendered. Okay. I think I might be done. This this video has been about an hour now. Okay. So we're gonna hurry this one up. Did a spy? That was it. So I'm gonna do a spaceport. Another spy. Supercomputer. Freighter fleet. Robo miner. Colony base and a spy. That should be the last one for there. I didn't build the, the colony ship? Come on. Alright, I meant to do that last turn. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, they created. Oh, the Sakura and Silent Empire are not war. Good. Saul christened the new ships. The colony ship. Okay, I want them to do Atmosphere Renewer and then another colony ship. I'm just going to start aggressive. I'm really going to start the expansion. So this one is going here. It's going to take three turns to get there. And these guys are going to get there in two turns. So I'm going to wait a turn. Get there and I'm plus two on the food. So back here. Back here. All right. Get this done. Let's take that planet. Ooh, another Hellcat. So, I'm going to do Atmosphere Renewer and another Hellcat. So, I'm going to start putting ships on my perimeter. This one is going to go to Valkyrie. And you notice, even though it's automatically going there, as long as I catch it before it enters warp, I, since I don't have hyperspace communications, I can send it now. Once it's in warp, I can't change direction unless I have hyperspace communications. And that's a technology that comes in later. All right. I'm at two turns there. And the whole squadron is going there. All right, let's do this. I'm at plus 11 on my command points because my fleet is starting to grow. Okay, one more turn. Human, yep, 90 billion credits. This guy, Marine Base, yep. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, Space Dragon. And it's probably going to take the first shot. Yep, there it is. Took out my destroyer. You rat bastard. Lock phasers. Fire! Okay, that was significant. I may lose a battleship. But I got to get him. Yeah, he's gone. So I'm going to fire, get him, take him out. I'm going to run. And I'm going to fire. Hopefully he'll survive. Nope, he didn't. And he damaged me. So I've lost two ships against this guy. He's gone. I was hoping he'd survive. But all right. I've got it. Colony ship's going to take it. This is a beautiful planet. This may become my new capital. Ryal. Okay, but I gotta defend it, because they're gonna want it. So hydroponic farm, then missile base, then marine barracks, automated factory, hollow simulator. This, and then that. And I will send colonists over there. Okay, you're building another one, another one. Okay, you're good. I lost a sizable portion of my fleet. So. Alright. We're going to end it right here. I want to give you a taste for this. We're going to save this game. We're going to save it right here. That's ten, whoops. 10, 19, 
2017. That's today's game. It says invalid. I don't know why. But I want to thank everyone. Guys, if you like this, this is now the second game, episode two. Or no, episode three. So, I'm going to ask you to bear with me. Enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is Roger Noriega. I'm out. I am Czar Roger from Master of Orion.